good evening or whatever time you happen to be watching this is Ralph Mann with Mann's Adventures and uh, we are about to do a Blackstone cook here at the house typically we do campsite cooking on our 24 inch Blackstone but we've got the 48 inch fired up getting good and hot and we're gonna go down with some sockeye salmon it's looking good we've been defrosting it and a big plate of sweet potatoes I don't know that we'll eat all of that but we'll have leftovers for tomorrow and the wife is doing uh, wild grain rice inside so we will put the salmon over the wild rice and have the sweet potatoes as a side we're fired up and going we'll start cooking here in just a moment oh by the way this is Ralph Mann with Mann's Adventures. Uh, if you find anything helpful, entertaining, or enjoyable, be sure and hit the like button. Share it with your friends. And if you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified when we do other cooks or when we're out camping because we do campground tours, uh, adventures while we're on the road in the campground. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we'll start in... The clouds have moved in so it's starting to get dark on us what we want to do is go ahead and get the uh, sweet potatoes down and as I said we've got a big plate of sweet potatoes we're gonna get those spread out and we're gonna go ahead and go down with the salmon at the same time as soon as I can get these spread out just a little bit is one sweet potato from our garden that's a lot of sweet potato we're going to try and get that heated up we're going to go with a little seasoning on it here in just a minute but let's get it a little surface contact everywhere first Alright, now we're going to go ahead and go down with the salmon. We got this from uh, Wild Alaska Company. They will actually ship directly to your door. But uh, we've been buying this for about a year or so. Really good stuff. Always go down with the skin first. We'll get the other one for Susan. Well, I didn't cut that one very well. Maybe I need to sharpen my blade. We'll go down with that. This won't take long. We'll let it go for just a little bit. I'm going to flip the, the uh, sweet potatoes and then we'll... We've moved the uh, sweet potatoes around just a little bit. Done a little flipping. Now I'm just going to go down with some black stone. All purpose. Really good stuff. This works on everything from steak, pork, uh, chicken, I even like it on some vegetables, it gives it a little kick. So we're going to go down with that, and we'll flip these and we'll hit the other side. <clears throat> Salmon's looking good, it'll be ready to flip here in just a minute. The wife and I like a little seasoning, and so for the salmon, this is the first time we're trying this, but it's more spice, Creole seasoning from Tony Chatteries, or however you pronounce that, go ahead and Leave me a link down in the bottom as to how it's supposed to be pronounced. But uh, we're going to go ahead and kick this up a little bit. So that we got, got a little extra seasoning on the salmon. Oftentimes we'll just do salt, pepper, and garlic on the salmon. But uh, today the wife voted for this, so I'm all in. So. We'll let that go for about another minute. That's almost ready to flip. We're going to go ahead and toss these potatoes a little bit. 
Susan cut them nice and thin so it doesn't take long for them to cook. We just want to make sure that they're good and done on all sides. Man, that fish is about ready to flip. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit the potatoes again with a little bit more seasoning. Boy, you can tell those are tendering up. Oh, yeah. That's going to be some good eats right there. So we'll scrape that seasoning off on them. Hit it with just a little bit more of the... Uh, uh, you can never do too much, but a little bit more of the all black stone all-purpose. And let's go ahead and give the fish a flip. Now when you watch me do the red snapper, I'll do a link down in, in the down below, but I like to add a little oil around it. That way we can move it around. And then we will actually go ahead and peel the, uh, there we go. We'll go ahead and make sure that the uh, skin is well cooked. Take a look at it here. May need to give it a few more minutes, but yeah, see it's already ready to peel off. We will flip it in a minute, let it go ahead and sear. A little bit more and we will peel the skin off so that you don't have to let's see about taking that skin off look at there we can actually peel that right off now we're not going to throw the skin away we're going to save that for the dog but uh it just flips right off oh yeah which also means we can add a little more seasoning to this side. We'll let that go for about another minute and we'll, I think we'll be about done. And these potatoes are about done. We're, I just turned off the burner on this side. Look at that. Man, that looks nice and tasty. Tender, without being greasy. We're gonna move that over here to the side. Let those hang out for just a minute. The fish is just about done. Since we put the uh, seasoning on the other side, we wanna go ahead and hit it one more time. And it'll be about time to pull this off. I hope Susan's got her rice done. I'm going to go ahead and turn the burners off on all but the right hand side. Thankfully with this Blackstone we do have a four burner. We do our campsite cooks at the campground. We only have a two burner. We have the 24 inch adventure style. But uh this is just about done. The uh, fish is finished. Salmon doesn't take long. I'm going to move these over to the side as well. Check, on, check with Susan, see if the rice is ready, and then we will plate this up. Well, we had a change of plans. Uh, seems that the rice is still not done so the wife said I'm hungry let's eat and we will use the rice for something tomorrow so we're gonna have salmon and sweet potatoes but that's okay with me do one less carb for the night but I sure was looking forward to that brown rice, but uh, I'm excited to see what we do with it tomorrow. We have been waiting for, it said it was supposed to be done in about 40 minutes, and here we are 
probably 45 minutes later and we have no rice. So we bless the food. We're going to give it a try. We've got our salmon and our sweet potatoes. Susan did make some coconut rice because we're still waiting on the wild rice, but that's okay. We'll eat it with something tomorrow, so let's have some sweet potatoes. Mm. Very good. And some salmon. I gotta love some salmon. <clears throat> I think Susan gave it, just gave it a thumbs up. So let us know what you think about the recipe and uh, be sure and share it with your friends. If you liked anything, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share it with your friends. And we'll see you in the next video.